the Kansas women's basketball team is still looking for its first Big 12 win of the season. They're falling to rival Kansas State in Manhattan on Saturday night by a score of 81-67. to KUJ's reporter Tiffany Littler was in Manhattan on Saturday for the Jayhawks' 13th straight conference loss. The Kansas women's basketball team has not won a game since December 13th. The Jayhawks are looking to end their 14-game losing streak tonight in the second round of the Sunflower Showdown. Sophomore Lauren Aldridge got the offense going for Kansas. On its opening possession, she immediately drained a three. This started what would be the team's season-high 13 made three-pointers and their best point total in Big 12 play. Junior Tamika O'Neill led the way with a career-high 18 points on the game. Freshman Kylie Kopadich tried her career-high in three-pointers made and finished the night with a total of 11 points. After halftime, Kansas locked in on offense but could not finish the half, dropping to an 18-point deficit. Reporting for KUJH Sports, I'm Tiffany Littler. Next chance for Kansas to get its first conference win is a matchup against TCU and Allen Fieldhouse on Wednesday. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m. The Kansas softball team got its 2016 season underway in Jacksonville, Florida over the weekend at the Jacksonville Tournament. The Jayhawks began the tournament on Friday playing two games. Kansas lost a close one to NC State by a score of 3-1 to one to open the tournament before bouncing back with a 9-0 victory of host Jacksonville. Kansas would split another pair of games on Saturday, beating Coastal Carolina 5-1 before falling to UNC Greensboro 6-3. And then the Jayhawks closed out the tournament with a second straight loss against UNC Greensboro, this time falling 12-8. Next up for the Jayhawks is the Fresno State Kickoff Classic from February 19th through the 21st. And the Kansas track and field team was in action at both the Tyson Invitational and ISU Classic over the weekend, rounding out both meets with impressive performances. Victories from the men's 4x400 meter relay, relay and sophomore Nikolai Sieben in the shot put headlined the action from the Tyson Invitational. Sieben's victory keeps him undefeated in shot put this season. At the ISU Classic, junior Strymar Livingston and sophomore Sharon Lachetti headlined for the Jayhawks. Livingston notched one of the fastest indoor 800 me meter times in school history for the second straight week, while Lachetti shattered the six-year-old 5,000 meter school record by over 30 seconds. The Jayhawks have the week off before heading back to Ames, Iowa for the Big 12 Indoor Championships on February 26th and 27th. And we're going to take a quick break, but coming next on the Jayhawk Sports Report, we'll show you everything you needed to see from the NBA All-Star Weekend, including game highlights, three-point contest, and a dunk contest that you have to see to believe. Don't you touch that dial. We will be right back. <laughs> 